So here we are in our next series with the Lotus, and I thought we were going to do something a little different. I'm going to do a little bit of setup, and then I'm going to start the race. So the tire pressure at the front is likely to get a little higher, just because the brakes at the front do more work than at the back because of weight transfer. So everything gets hotter. We're going to do that. And gears, I don't really want to set up, but I'm going to... Uh, maybe the number of liters of fuel could be reduced quite a lot because our race is not going to be so long. Let's put 14 and then for the alignment you want the camber to be increased so that the camber in front can be a negative camber. You see the if you look at the wheel it should be moving back a little bit. So we're going to move it to the maximum that should allow us to have better lateral grip as we're turning and then we're going to start the race. Oh and this is the time attack yet. Yeah. So one of my favorite car oh listen to sound. It's a nice sound. And it kind of doesn't it kind of look like a Ferrari? <laughs> I like it a lot. So I don't know, keep in mind I don't know the braking zones. But uh Yeah, I think this setup is already helping us. Because I went through that corner a lot faster than you normally would. So here is the braking zone right there. Oh, and the brakes are nice too. Okay. So the car is... I don't, know if I'd I don't know if I'd say heavy. I guess it just... Maybe the engine is not so powerful. Um, which is typical of Lotus cars. The suspension is a little... A little stock-ish. So here we're going to do a very long turn around there. Should have probably braked a little more, but uh, it's going to be okay. I'm going to try to you know, punch our way out through here. Even maybe over accelerated. <laughs> I was confident. I was confident in the car. So that's good. Um, two parts spot on the right. And there we go. That was one lap. That wasn't too hard. Now, there's a challenging part. Uh, going through here with a little bit more speed, you know, should have double downshifted, it would have helped. So, just things you learn. Things you learn going around the track. Making the engine work out. The brakes are really good when you put them on the strongest you can. There we go. I think that's a reasonable acceleration-ish. Maybe we could have uh, turned a little less. I don't really know what is the ideal line. The track is really wide here at Silverstone, so. Okay, so clearly, clearly I break too late. I mean, really too late. You even had to go to second gear to correct that. So we're gonna bite our time around here. <laughs> and uh, accelerate, okay, good. The, my goal in the long sweeping turns is to kind of stay as far to the edge as possible. So that means we're hitting the apex. You know, anytime we're not spending near the edge, it's kind of a loss. So here, we're in our last experience, we're going to do only two downshifts, and I that means I braked a little early, so I had plenty of space to the left of me to continue. So I could probably break uh, where the tarmac kind of splits in two. Here, just break after the apex, it seems to be just fine to do. Here, I seem to be able to accelerate pretty much to the max coming out of here. So I guess that's the ideal line to follow because that's where you're gaining more speed around the corner and following the track at the same time. And uh, I'll break about here, gently. Yeah, this is it's tricky because the corner is long, so I don't know. I feel like I braked a little early there, so next time we're gonna break a little later on that spot. Just trying to maintain my place around the turn, use as much track as possible, stay as far to the edge as we can, and this should be a reasonable lap. Plus 1.3. There you go, brake as hard as we can, double down shift, that looked good. Now turning, there we go. That was a pretty good turn. 
we might I don't know how we can improve that it looked like the the trace was not quite exactly where I went so I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to do but defer to make this better so hitting the apex and accelerating as much as we can I think that looks good as a line because we're staying quite tight I like that but I don't know what the best line is in this spot Okay, plus nine, and then we're gonna break closer to the panel. Not quite there. That was okay too. I think we should break probably at the sign next time. And probably downshift a little bit before next time as well. So accelerating as fast as we can here. Staying more towards the right. Should be able to eat that paint there without any problems and isn't that lotus great it's amazing okay three tenths i'll take that so we're we're gradually improving which is good i'm not sure about that turn <laughs> i feel like i didn't uh yeah i feel like a lot of things it didn't look that great so maybe i should be breaking a little bit earlier here too i feel like the path in the tarmac is not exactly where we're oh for some reason Kind of refused to turn, so maybe I'm losing a bit of traction with the heat and the tires and everything. Maybe I just need to go a little wider just to give more space for the car to breathe. I'm shifting well, okay. Negative 0.3 tenths. I braked a little early again, but I'm just gonna feather on the brake. And then we're gonna accelerate at the apex here. Downshift a little earlier. And maintain our position around the corner here. Eating the paint as much as we can. Accelerating quickly. That looked pretty good. And it wasn't wearing the tires much. So, eating the paint again. There we go. And we hit our checkpoint. And we lost a tiny bit of time, but nothing much. Nothing major. There we go, now we're accelerating as fast as we can. I think that was a bit better. Not sure exactly what the line is, but it's fine. Sure, we're not gonna die. So, feathering the brake as we come out so that we do some trail braking and then try to hit the best speed that we can out of here. Some nice smooth shifting and see whether we've made any progress. Oh, zero! We've done exactly the same speed as before, wow. So, okay, yeah, the sighing is about just the right place to shift. There, I kind of missed a little bit, but it's fine. I feel like I can go a bit faster here. Oh, yeah, probably needed a bit more speed before I ended up in the grass. Uh, but it was okay. I still, as long as you have the um, interior wheels on the tarmac, uh, what am I saying, the exterior wheels on the tarmac, uh, you know, most of the traction is going to be on the wheels that are being pushed outwards. So, here I'm going to brake a little bit more softly into the braking zone. <coughs> Ooh, I wasn't sure about shifting there. I should probably just have feathered it and kept it on fourth, accelerated from fourth, and that would be just fine. So, maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. I was braking too late and braking too hard. So I could gain some speed there by braking less. Which is interesting. I hadn't thought of that before, I don't know why. Okay, less good than last time, but perhaps it's actually going to be tighter. I'm not really sure. Looks like we've maybe lost some time. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah. We didn't make it to the next checkpoint. Okay, that's looking good. 5,000 points. Pretty good time attack. So, I'm taking that as a win.